What's up guys, welcome to your 7th Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a basic calculator uh, using variables and other things that we already learned so far. So um, in your last tutorial I showed you guys how to get input from a user using something called a scanner and we're going to need that again and I already imported it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and make a scanner variable. So let's go ahead and write scanner and I'm going to name mine Bucky again and again I'm going to set it equal to new scanner and also I want to put system in so it knows where to get input from so write system dot in and that's all you need to do for now the next thing we're going to need is three variables uh, we need one variable to hold the first number one variable to hold the second number and our last variable is going to hold the answer so you can they're going to be doubles by the way so you can go ahead and declare them by writing double f num for first num uh, go to your next line and write double s num for second num or here's a neat little trick if you have many variables of the same type and by type I mean double or int or something like that since you have many double variables you can write them all on the same line it's a nice little shortcut so array snum and answer. Uh, you can name your variables anything you want. I just usually have short variables since I don't feel like typing a whole lot. So the first thing we want to do uh, on a character on our excuse me calculator is just print a line of text that says enter first number so the user knows what to do. So go ahead and you know how to write this system dot out dot print line print line and in your parameters you just go ahead and write enter first num and then put a little uh, semicolon right there if you want and now we can go once we have that all this is going to do is put a line of text enter first num on the screen now what we want to do is have a way to enter a number and have it stored in f num so go ahead and put f num equals bucky and remember this is our scanner variable and write next double and that brings me to another point. Now, in our last tutorial, I showed you guys something called next line, and it was right here. And that was for strings. Each data type in Java, you need to give it its own method since you need to tell what you're going to be inputting in there so it knows how to save it. For example, if this was strings you're going to input in there, like hello, you're going to put next line. But since we're inputting a number, you're going to want next double because double is a type of number. So now once we enter this number and it can have decimal points, it's going to be stored in the variable fnum and we're going to need that later. So now we have to do this exact same thing for the second number. So let's go ahead and copy this line since I'm too lazy to type it. Where's the copy? There you are at house. And next we want to print enter second number. And now we just need to do the same thing. Go ahead and copy this. And after that prompt pops up, you're going to, there we go. You're going to want to store this variable in snum. So the first number you're going to type is going to be stored in the variable fnum. And the second number you type is going to be stored in the variable snum. This stands for first number and second number. Now what we want to do to get that answer that we have those variables is just add them together. So go ahead and write answer equals, and you're going to want to write fnum plus snum. And now we have whatever number that fnum and snum is going to be stored in answer. Now it's stored in there, but we need a way to output it to the screen to see what it was. So let's go ahead and write system dot out dot print line. And in your parameters, just write answer. And what this is going to do is output answer, whatever it was, to the screen. So go ahead and run this program. And hopefully I didn't get any um, errors. And here's our program right here. Enter first number. Let's do 34.6. Move my cursor out of the way. Press enter. Enter second number. Um, 54.2 press enter it's going to give us our answer 88.80001 
and this is actually something that I want to talk to you guys about and I will be talking to you guys about it um, in the next tutorial well probably not in the next one but um, this brings me to a good point which we don't have time to talk about in, t in uh, this tutorial but I will get to shortly so basically what I did enter first number entered it enter second number enter it and then it gave us an answer pretty much and again to walk you through this one last time what I did is import the scanner so I could use the Java scanner and then I wrote everything in my main function because that's where the computer looks first the first thing I did was write um, a variable for the scanner just so we could use it next I made three variables that were double which means numbers first number second number answer the first thing I did was have a little prompt that should set a enter first number just so I knew what was going on for the user next I used that little scanner variable in the next double method to have whatever I typed in the keyboard to be stored in the first number then I just had something that says enter second number and then I had it um, have the user input something else and wherever they input at that time is stored in SNUM and then I just outputted um, whatever those two were added together the sum of that and I just printed it out on the screen so that's a very basic calculator and it had one flaw in it and that was giving us uh, many decimal points and I'll show you why that is in the uh, I don't know what tutorial but it's gonna be coming up pretty soon whenever I deal with numbers but again that's a basic calculator that's how you build it using a new method called next double that we learned and also how to combine everything we learned so far and build a function uh, functioning program so again uh, practice this uh, get good with it make sure you understand everything we did up to this point and once you do you're ready to move on to my next tutorial so thank you guys for watching uh, hopefully I see you next time and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so thank you and I'll see you then